hey my friend Jean Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about the traffic secrets have you heard of the expert secrets the dot-com secrets the secrets trilogy I have it right here and I'm going to talk to you about traffic traffic, traffic secrets today traffic secrets right over here which is the third book in the trilogy it actually came out just a few months ago I just received it a few days ago and I've been doing reviews on the different books but this is the traffic secrets from the trilogy from Russell Brunson and let's just get this organized a little bit better so yeah so traffic secrets we're going to talk about the traffic secrets from the secrets trilogy right here and we're going to talk about that in just a second what are you going to get out of traffic secrets I'm going to cover some of the base some of the uh, basics of it and we're going to do that in just a second but first this we're going to show you um about the traffic circuits in just a second so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So the traffic secrets have you heard of Russell Brunson if you haven't heard of Russell Brunson oh my god you're in for a treat I mean I'm not Russell Brunson my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon as you heard but the thing is that I've been listening and following Russell Brunson for a long time now and I gotta tell you he knows his stuff he's been building businesses he's been building online income businesses for 15 years I think he says and in 2015 he wrote the first book dot com secrets he wrote dot com secrets in 2015 2017 he did the expert secrets and now in 2020 or maybe 2019 I'm not sure if it says 2019 but I know we got it just in the let's see does it say 2020 in there 2020 first edition May 2020 well actually that's pretty insane because I got it in the middle of May or end of May I guess and um so but I've been listening to the audiobook for months now already right when I first got it when you first go to trafficsecrets.com or trafficsecrets jeansergegagnon.com if you want to support me um that you get the this book you can get it for free just to pay shipping and when I first did that of course I went to the site because I was excited about getting this new book and I knew how awesome it would be because I know of the other two books and I've been listening I listened to them probably 20 times I mean when I first got the expert secrets it was from a friend that told me hey you should get this it talks about webinars you've been trying to do webinars he talks about the webinar and he you're going to learn lots from him and whatever and I'm like okay sure whatever and I started listening I'm, oh my god I was hooked I listened and listened and listened and listened and then finally I had to get the dot-com secrets book so I went and I got the dot-com secrets audio as well I listened and listened and listened and when he when the traffic secrets was released and of course I've been you know implementing lots of stuff I've been learning uh, learning and implementing uh, but as, as soon as I heard about traffic secrets I ordered it right away and then there was the special offer that box said I just had to have it I had to get the audios I mean he talks about getting true fans in his book expert secrets well I can say I'm a true fan of Russell Brunson all right so let's get right into it so what is in traffic secrets traffic secrets is the under underground playbook for filling your websites and funnels with your dream customers right that's kind of what it says right down there on the on the cover that's what the book is about it's about filling your website it's about getting customers to your website and the tricks and tactics and strategies for doing that now the book is uh, separated into three sections all right so the first section is your dream customer the second section is fill your funnel and the third section is growth hacking so he talks about these things in and that's basically what he talks about so uh let's talk about let's dive right in right secret number one who is your dream customer when we talk about your dream customer um we talk about who it is specifically and it's not it's it's also called an avatar in marketing we talk about an avatar as being the perfect customer of yours right the one that the, if, if there was one person in the world that you would want to be your customer that you would be happy to serve that you would be excited when they call if they have problems or questions if you that you would love to hang out with that you would invite to your home 
that it would be somebody that you would have over for supper who would that perfect customer be who would that perfect avatar be that's your perfect customer and what he talks about uh you know um your dream customer let's just see if I can see some good diagrams on this <coughs> in the book there's a lot of there's a lot of tables he got he has a table here where he talks about moving towards pleasure moving away from pain I don't know if you've heard that uh, that's been that's taught by um a lot by Tony Robbins he teaches how humans really really are more driven they're driven two f two ways right either they're driven to get more pleasure right they're attracted to things that they like doing that they enjoy that they, gives them you know happiness they're attracted to doing more of those things and they're also uh repelled by things that cause them pain so they're trying to avoid pain right they want to they want to not you know get a tattoo like I don't, I'm personally I'm not a tattoo person but the thing is that if you if you like tattoos then you know there's pain right involved with getting the tattoos so but you have the pleasure of getting the tattoo so unless you you are more um you you enjoy more the pleasure of having a tattoo and showing people your tattoo and showing it off and all that you're not gonna be pushed away by the pleasure of the pain of the getting the tattoo done in my case because I'm not a tattoo person that's exactly the opposite for me for me I'm I'm not attracted to having a tattoo it doesn't give me pleasure to tell people I would have one you know those kinds of things so I'm not attracted to that because I'm repelled by the pain I would get from it anyways I don't want that pain right so I don't do it and so that's the thing so Tony Robbins talks about that and Russell Brunson brings it up here when he talks about your perfect customer how you should have them you should figure out what is their pain what is their pleasures what are the things that your perfect customer wants and doesn't want what are the things that are going to scare them away so in other words I don't know say for example your perfect customer is somebody who does not like tattoos well you're not going to talk about tattoos in your marketing because you're going to scare them away they're going to be like well, I'm not interested in that guy he talks about tattoos all the time versus the other way if you want people that are interested in tattoos then you might talk about tattoos that that way it'll repel people who don't want tattoos right so that's that's why it's important to know what your perfect your perfect your avatar your perfect customer your dream customer right your dream customer what that person is like so he talks about defining it you know what's their age what's their gender uh what their background is their education where they live all these things he talks about that because it's important to define that because when you when you communicate later on when you do ads or when you do posts it's all about talking to that perfect customer okay that dream customer so secret number two he talks about where are they hiding he talks about well in the other books he talks about con um uh, which, what's the word uh, congregations right where people come together right where they unite so looking for groups and things like that in Facebook um communities where people hang out together that are in your perfect uh customer your our target customer your avatar the kinds of people where they are right he talks about that stuff he talks about getting into those groups and commenting and things like that in traffic secrets he talks about how they're hiding within your dream 100 I don't know if you've read the other books but in the in the other books he talks a lot about the dream 100 what it is <laughs> the dream 100 is basically a list of the top 100 people out there that are in your niche that are in your market that have the customers that you basically want right and in traffic secrets he talks about infiltr anyways we talk about that later but he talks about the dream 100 how to use the dream 100 to find your perfect customers the dream 100 like say for example you're into self-help or or or, um, or growing your 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 ability to talk to people and things like that and Tony Robbins does that right so he's got a following of millions in Facebook you can go and try to target ads on on Tony Robbins's you know um his his uh, his fans or whatever but that's not the same as in as really using your dream 100 becoming a friend with Tony Robbins having a conversation with him having having a, a ability to interact with him and then maybe he'll promote you and that kind of stuff so that's what he talks about the dream 100 he talks about <coughs> the hook the story the offer and the attractive character 
and working your way in but buying your way in so the difference between working your way in so when you're working your way in you're basically doing posts you're basically having conversations where you're reaching out to people in those groups say say like Tony Robbins again as, as an example right Tony Robbins is Facebook page his groups if you're in there and you're posting things you don't want to be you don't want to be the spammy person right you want to be just answering questions you want to be commenting on other people's stuff you want to be seen and eventually even seen by the by Tony Robbins right which is obviously in the case of Tony Robbins it's super crazy to think that's possible but it is if you're in there you're consistent and you're always providing value and you're always the guy everybody else lots lots of his fans start to see you as being the person that answers questions because everybody else is too busy but you have the right answers and you start to be somebody who people really like seeing around and like seeing your comments and they even start saying hey what do you think about this they actually start asking you right then you can eventually infiltrate that's what that's well he talks about infiltrating the dream 100 that's in secret number seven and that's kind of what you do you're infiltrating that list the list of your dream 100 right you're not Tony Robbins is just one right of of a hundred so you would normally have a hundred people that you want to connect with that are your dream 100 so by infiltrating them if there's only one of them that says yes to promoting your book or your website or your product or anything like that which basically by the way you should be promoting your blog and not much else because on your blog you're going to get people to join your list and you're going to get people to get in your uh, soap opera sequence that he talks about in um, expert secrets so you're going to get into that he's going to, people are going to join that they're going to start to notice you they're starting to connect with you if you try to if you ask a, one of your dream 100 to, to promote I don't know when you're a MLM opportunity or something nobody's going to want to do that especially these uh, these leaders that know how it all works right they real they know that that stuff doesn't work long term and it just gives people a bad taste in their mouth so they're not going to do that but they might promote an interview you do with them or they might promote your blog itself or they might promote your uh, podcast if you have one or they might promote you know some of your free content that you're producing that's giving value to people right so that's what you got to do uh, so that's the difference so work your way in is that right you're constantly communicating posting you're engaging you're you're creating content you're doing it the hard way right then there's buying your way in because in social media most of the platforms you can actually get connected in to uh, uh, any influencers or most of them anyways they're fans by just producing um, content and then pushing ads of those contents to that fan base right so I could for example promote my my daily episodes here I could do an ad that promotes it to Gary Gary V's fans or I could do an ad that promotes it to Tony, Tony Robbins fans or Eric Worries fans those people that are kind of my dream 100 the people that I would like to communicate with that I would like to have a conversation with that I would love to go for for coffee with those people are the ones that I can infiltrate by by buying my way in right so I can become somebody that's seen by those fans no I'm not I don't by doing that I don't become visible in the group like that's the difference right you can have an ad that goes to the fans of Tony Robbins which is just one of your videos or something like that and they see it in their news feed but you're not going to be known by the fans in that group as somebody who helps Tony Robbins for example right but if you post in the Tony Robbins group you start to re answer questions you start to become known in there that's totally different right it's a it's got a massive difference of perception and value so I I certainly don't recommend doing the buy your way in thing as much because but the problem is that we don't necessarily have time I, I certainly don't have time to post everywhere all the time and comment on everything it'd be like a full-time job right but you have to hire people to do it for you right so but th that's the thing those are the two differences <clears throat> and then there's traffic that you own and follow-up funnel so when we talk about traffic that you own it's we're talking about building your list we're talking about growing your list of people who have engaged with you and have requested something from you right it could be a free ebook it could be a, a free training that you gave them and they exchange their email address now they become uh, traffic you own because you can send them messages to their inbox whenever you want 
and that's part that's one of the most important things you got to do online you got to build your list you got to grow your grow a list of people in emails that that you communicate with that you can contact regularly right uh so that's that's section number one your dream customer section number two filling your funnels now in here he talks about different social media strategies like he talks about uh Instagram traffic secrets right he talks about Facebook traffic secrets Google traffic secrets YouTube traffic secrets after the snaps and this the the what is it the slaps and the snaps and then conversation domination so he talks about these things as how to fill your funnel uh fill your funnel organically right working your way in fill your funnel with paid ads buying your way in so and then all the different strategies on different platforms he covers a lot of that and they're really really amazing strategies they're not necessarily based on the current state of the platforms today but by going through these it certainly gives you a really really good idea of how it would work even if the platforms change or if there were different platforms right by understanding the different platforms and what they're what the platforms want it helps you to understand the difference between a con content you would create say for Instagram versus content you'd create for LinkedIn or Facebook right those are different he doesn't have LinkedIn in there that's interesting LinkedIn is is one of the the less uh known ones it's actually more expensive to do ads on LinkedIn I've tried myself I haven't had much success yet but so that's the thing so all the different platforms have different things that they want you to post post on there right there they have different things that you should be uh doing to like the kinds of content is, is different right some are video some are audio there's Twitter as well which is not here either <coughs> but so yeah Instagram Facebook Google I don't know oh yes Google I guess it's all it's just uh, SEO and keywords and having your blog sort of show up at the top of the list that kind of stuff um but the thing is that there's in Twitter I don't even know what Twitter I I have it automated I don't really use it that much I get leads once in a while from it but not super uh, consistent so I'm not really uh, using it that much Instagram I post every single day on there on Facebook I post every day anyways that's not important I but I do do that right and that's one of the things and, and some of the content that I post is probably could be better for sure um but in in here he talks about how to fill your funnel using that like I was saying earlier working your way in which is posting organically is replying to comments and groups and commenting and liking and sharing other people's stuff that you see in your news feed is going to help to show more of your stuff to more people that's how in, in Facebook anyways that's how they do the engagement rewarding system right so if you don't engage with anything and you just post stuff uh, you're not going to get a lot of people seeing your stuff if you start to comment on other people's things in your news feed or maybe even go to their profile uh, that'll increase how many of your your friends see your post so having like me having 4500 friends or something on Facebook is useless if you're not engaging because nobody's going to see your stuff and I tried that a couple of weeks ago I actually tried to prove that that was true I actually really spent a lot of time for about a week commenting and engaging of other people's stuff and I saw a growth of two four times ten times more on some of my posts the amount of engagements I got and the, the reason I got more engagement isn't because it was a great post it's because it was shown to more people so because it was shown to more people there were more people that commented say you get one person in every 10 that sees it to comment well that means that if I got 10 comments I, it was shown to 100 people right but if I only got one comment that's because it was shown only to 10 people it's not because it's a better post or worse post it's just that that's how the engagement battle works on Facebook other platforms are similar so you got to keep that in mind whenever you're trying to uh, work your way in right when you don't have money to spend on ads to buy your way in like I was tell, telling you earlier you know you have the ability to produce ads or or promote ads to a set a specific fan base right you can you can have an ad that goes specifically to Gary V fans to Tony Robbins fan to Eric Warriors fan to uh to um anyways uh, Diane Hockman and Ray Higdon and 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 MLSB and 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 ClickFunnels and 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 e Udemy and whatever right the, the brands that have lots of followers 
they become available as targets you can do that on Facebook you can do that on YouTube Google you can do that uh, I'm not sure Instagram probably I've never tried but you know that's 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 what buying your way in is does it's not the same because people that are those fans will see your ads but they don't necessarily associate you with that that uh, that like they won't associate you with Gary V right because you're not in the Gary V space you're in their news feed right but you could and that's another thing your strategy that's something I learned is that if you're doing a, an ad for the Gary V fans make sure you talk about Gary V in your ad either in your text or in if it's a video in your video or if it's an image on the image make sure you talk about Gary V so that your Gary V fans recognize that that's why they're seeing it because they're Gary V fans so you want to talk to them about being a Gary V fan if it's Tony Robbins obviously it's Tony Robbins etc right all right so then the other thing he talks about in in section two fill your funnels is the slaps and the snaps so he one of the things that uh, that Russell Brunson talks about is that he he was basically slapped by Google when he started right when he started he was doing a potato gun DVD that was I forget the exact numbers but let's say it was costing him five bucks an ad he was making twenty dollars per um or he was costing up five dollars per customer that bought right so that bought and was 20 bucks say say his dvd sold for 20 bucks and he was it was costing him five bucks to acquire that customer in other words they he would need to show it to 100 people for example and that would be you know a, a five cents per person but out of out of 100 there'd be one that would buy so it basically ends up being five bucks so five bucks to to get the one customer that bought it for 20 bucks he made 15 dollars for example right i'm not saying that's exactly the numbers but just an example and then he got slapped he didn't really get slapped it's Google that changed the cost of advertising from five dollars per customer and ended up starting to cost them forty dollars again these are I'm, the, I'm not sure about the, those are the real numbers but that's kind of the idea so then it started costing him 40 bucks he was selling his dvd for 20 dollars to get one customer 40 dollars 20 bucks he would lose 20 dollars per sale obviously he couldn't do that so he canceled his ads right so he got slapped by Google so he talks about this what do you do after the slaps so in this case he discovered the funnels that's how he discovered the funnels he got an, an, an opt-in offer of a hundred bucks for a dvd kit or a potato gun kit I mean and then he was able to start to grow because then instead of, it cost him 40 bucks and it and they uh, on average they the on average the number of customers that bought the hundred dollar was I don't know 10 percent or something and that ended up bringing his cost to like 50 or something he was profitable again right so it would cost him 40 bucks to get a customer on average he would make 50 dollars per per customer which meant he was profiting 10 bucks per customer right so that's what you got to do you got to learn from the slaps you got to learn from the changes in the algorithms and the platforms and how do you pay how you cost like I mean Facebook not long ago it used to be awesome you would get engagement a lot by doing certain things and now it's all gone you you need to pay for ads to show your stuff right that you practically get no engagement on your stuff that you post to pages you gotta spend money so that's different than what it what it was like three four years ago right and that's part of it so he also talks about conversation domination so conversation domination whenever you're engaging and you're talking you have to learn how to talk to people so that they don't think you're just as a slimy salesperson right they're just trying to get their money you got to learn how to do that he talks about that in there and section three is the growth hacking so the funnel hub other people's distribution channels your affiliate army cold target other growth hacks so I mean the funnel hub basically uh I'm not really sure because I I, I haven't listened to this audio that much yet I've maybe three four times because it's new right but he he show you can see right here the funnel hub what he's talking about here he's talking about an ad goes to a funnel so if it's a host hot or not um then he goes to buy otherwise he go, does a credibility research and form a form a, forms an opinion and then maybe buys right so depending on where your traffic source is from so um 
so he talks about um, you know as I was busy trying to rank for non-branded keywords I didn't realize that over 250,000 people were searching for brand keywords like my name because I hadn't set up funnels for these branded terms I was losing out on tons of traffic so he talks about how uh, his terms like Russell Brunson expert secrets.com secrets one funnel away challenge Russell Brunson reviews is Russell Brunson legit Russell Brunson scam if these keywords that people were searching for he didn't set up something that would bring them to the, to a funnel if they search for those things right so uh sales funnel coach sales funnel builder funnel expert how to build a funnel funnel examples so these are all things that he realized that he needed to do and that would be the same thing with your um with your uh brand right so distribution channels other people's distribution channels so that's one of the uh, one of the chapters in here he talks about distribution channel number one solo ads email solo ads he talks about Facebook messenger and desktop push he talks about other distribution integration marketing and then he talks about an affiliate army building yourself an affiliate army if you've got a product that you can give away some of the funds for somebody who sells it for you or who promotes it for you you should do that and if you can give them a give them a hundred percent of the sale by because it benefits you to get the person as a customer because you can sell them something else later on then that's that's what you should do definitely that's one of the things that I'm trying to do with my click ecourse site I'm trying to I'm giving away 75 percent of commission and that's one of the things I do that because I want the customer right I want the customer on the site but I'll give you 75 percent of the commission and that's one of the things I do and uh, he talks about that and then he talks about cold traffic the difference between cold warm and hot how to get people from from cold to warm traffic so cold traffic somebody who doesn't even know who you are doesn't even know your product doesn't even know anything about about you or your product or your company right that's cold traffic then the warm traffic is traffic that doesn't necessarily know you doesn't necessarily know your company but they know about the product that you're trying to sell or the or the or what the product gives them or they they've heard that function or that feature or that benefit or they 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 know about the problem right and then of course a warm or to hot hot uh, traffic is somebody who knows you who knows your product who's already bought from you probably and they're they really are they're hot in terms of you you could just talk talk to them about like Russell Brunson I got a new book here I got a new book and I just go yep I'll go buy it I already know him I already know what he's about that's hot traffic so hopefully you enjoyed this review or this overview of traffic secrets and if you want to get your own copy of course you go to traffic secrets dot jean serge gagnon.com or books.clickecourse.com there's going to be a link of course around here below on the side in the comments or wherever you see this to go get your own copy and if you're watching this on the blog there's going to be links right in there and if you're listening to the audio there will be a link if you go to the uh to the platform to see the details of this or you can go to jean sergegagnon.com as we're going to show you in a moment all right so hopefully you enjoyed this and if you need more clarification on the traffic secrets book come and get your copy get the audios get the trilogy come to trafficsecrets.jeansergegagnon.com and come and get your book with the trilogy here's the trilogy right here right the trilogy the secrets trilogy let's just show you this again this is the trilogy this came out of this this <laughs> so there you go so there's the trilogy traffic secrets the best of the sequence the best of the well I'm not sure if I'm not sure if it's the best but it is amazing and it gives you a whole bunch of new tactics and things to learn that you didn't get in the first books all right have yourself a great day we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.